In this video, we show how to use the AlienFX board conversion kit to install third-party motherboard in your Alienware Area 51 chassis. This kit enables you to turn on the computer, utilize the top I.O. on the chassis to control the fans and AlienFX lights through Alienware Command Center using a third-party motherboard. The kit can be purchased on the Dell site or by calling customer service. Note the following. To power the AlienFX board with a third-party motherboard, a different power supply or extension cables might be required. Check for compatibility before you begin. Dell cannot guarantee that all the components shipped with the computer will fit or be compatible with the third-party motherboard. And Dell does not offer technical support for components that are purchased outside of Dell. The kit includes the following components. One 14-pin fan power bridge cable assembly, one AlienFX 4-pin power switch cable, one top I.O. USB dongle, and three micro ATX motherboard screw nuts. Before you begin, ensure that you use ESD protection when working inside your computer for your personal safety. To begin, check if your third-party motherboard is compatible with the PSU. If it is not compatible, remove and install a PSU that is compatible with your third-party motherboard. Disconnect all the cables and components attached to the system board and remove it. When installing a micro ATX motherboard, use the screw nuts included in the kit to connect the third-party motherboard to the chassis. Follow the procedure from the manufacturer and install the third-party motherboard. Connect the corresponding cables to the motherboard. The ELC power connector on the AlienFX board must be connected to it with a SATA power cable. Connect the top IO USB dongle to the 20-pin connector on the third-party motherboard. If your motherboard has enough fan ports for all the fans on your computer, then connect all the fan cables directly to the motherboard. If it does not have enough ports to support the number of fans on your computer, connect the 14-pin fan power bridge cable to the connector on the AlienFX board. Then, connect the three 4-pin connectors to the motherboard's fan connectors. Also, connect all the fans to the AlienFX board as well. You may need extension cables for this step. Next, connect the AlienFX 4-pin power switch cable to its connector on the AlienFX board and the PLED and power button connectors on the motherboard. Do not connect the SATA PWR and the ELC Data 1 cables that came with the computer to the motherboard. Now replace the remaining components that were removed from the system board. Install Windows and update all the drivers, then install Alienware Command Center. For more information about your system, go to Alienware.com.